Magnets are everywhere, from our powerful speakers and sensitive microphones to our iconic electric guitars and robust industrial machinery. But have you ever wondered how they're made? Specifically, how a block of metal transforms into a powerful magnet. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating process of making Alnico magnets, one of the oldest and most durable magnets used in modern technology, right here on History of Simple Things. Before we get into how it's made, let's talk about what Alnico actually is. The name itself comes from its three primary ingredients, aluminum, nickel, and cobalt. These elements, combined with iron and sometimes copper or titanium, create a material that's both highly magnetic and extremely heat resistant. Unlike modern rare earth magnets, Alnico has been around since the 1930s. It's known for its stability in high temperatures, making it ideal for applications like electric motors, sensors, and even vintage guitar pickups. But how does this raw mix of metals become a magnet? The journey of an Alnico magnet begins in a foundry. First, the raw materials, aluminum, nickel, cobalt, iron, and any additional elements are melted together in a furnace at temperatures exceeding 1,750 degrees Celsius. This intense heat ensures that all the metals mix thoroughly, creating a uniform alloy. Once fully molten, the metal is carefully poured into sand molds or precision molds, depending on the final shape of the magnet. This step is called casting, and it's crucial because the way the metal cools affects the magnet structure and performance. The cooling process must be controlled to prevent unwanted cracks or inconsistencies. After casting, the metal pieces, still not yet magnets, undergo a process called heat treatment. The cast magnets are heated again to around 1,250 degrees Celsius and then slowly cooled in a controlled manner. This annealing process helps refine the internal structure of the metal, improving its mechanical strength and making it easier to magnetize later. Once the metal is properly treated, it's time to shape and refine it. Because Alnico is extremely hard and brittle, traditional machining techniques like cutting or drilling won't work well. Instead, special grinding techniques using diamond-coated tools are used to precisely shape the magnet. During this stage, any rough edges or imperfections are removed and the magnet is refined to its final size and shape. Even though the metal piece looks like a magnet now, something is still missing. It doesn't attract anything. It's just a lifeless piece of metal. But how does the real magic happen? Let's begin with the Earth itself. Imagine you're standing on the surface of the planet. Surrounding the Earth is an invisible magnetic field. This is why compasses always point north. Deep within the Earth's core lies a massive source of magnetism. The core is mostly made up of iron, nickel, and other metals that, when aligned, become naturally magnetic. The Earth's magnetic field is more than just essential for navigation. It also helps protect us from harmful space radiation. It's a force that's always present, shaping how things move, much like the invisible force that pulls objects to the ground. Now, all Nico magnets work based on the same basic principle. Just like the Earth's magnetic field, Alnico magnets get their power from tiny magnetic regions inside the metal called magnetic domains. These domains behave like little magnets themselves. So how does the metal become a magnet? When the Alnico metal is exposed to a magnetic field, 
these tiny magnetic domains inside the metal align in the same direction. Before this alignment, the domains are scattered and the metal doesn't act like a magnet. But once they align, the metal becomes a true magnet, able to attract and repel, just like how the Earth's magnetic field influences objects around it. Once the Alnico magnet is created, it's not quite ready for use just yet. It needs to be tested to ensure it's strong, stable, and reliable in different conditions. This is important because Alnico magnets are used in machines and devices that must perform under tough circumstances. First, engineers test the magnet's magnetic strength. They do this by seeing how well the magnet can attract or repel other materials. The stronger the attraction, the better the magnet. Next, the magnet is checked for temperature stability. Alnico magnets can retain their magnetism even under extreme heat, which makes them ideal for high temperature environments. To test this, the magnet is placed in a heated chamber or furnace to ensure it keeps working properly at high temperatures. Finally, the durability of the magnet is tested. This involves putting the magnet through conditions like pressure or vibration to see how well it holds up. The goal is to make sure the magnet doesn't lose its strength or break easily when used in devices like motors or medical equipment. If the Alnico magnet passes these tests, it's ready to be used. If it doesn't, it might need to be reprocessed or adjusted until it meets the required standards. When you think about the Earth's magnetic field, it's easy to forget just how much power it has. Similarly, Alnico magnets hold the key to countless technologies. They help keep motors running smoothly, amplify sound in speakers, and even assist in medical imaging through MRI machines. Their ability to maintain strength even in extreme conditions makes them indispensable in industries that rely on stability, much like how the Earth's magnetic field guides us. From the core of the Earth to the Alnico magnet in your hand, the principles of magnetism are the same. They remind us that even in our high-tech world, we're still influenced by the forces of nature. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.